previously on A Pint of Cthulhu Fallout. Our team made it back from the farm and reported their findings to Jesse, the mayor of the town, who encouraged them to keep on investigating. So, um, they head straight to the pub and got incredibly, incredibly drunk. We start off with our characters sat in said pub um, after a night of sleep. Um, they've all slept off their, their previous drunkenness from the night before, except from Billy Bob, who is still passed out in his room and will remain so until further notice. <laughs> Alright, so everybody's just sat at one of the tables in the pub. It's the morning, the storm has passed, the weather's good outside, um, everybody's feeling a little bit groggy except from Cartman. Or, sorry, Mr. Medman. Start us off, what would you like to do? What we actually do in this town? Anyone know? We drink. Or you do. We find out what exactly caused all the trouble. The virus, the disease. Whatever it was, try and research it, find out what caused it, and then, in your case, punch it. Where we find that? I'm not quite sure. We could search oh. around town. Sounds as good as an idea as any. Alright, would you like me to list all the revelations that we've had so far that none of you can remember? I think yeah. the doctor was mentioned, <laughs> wasn't he? The doctor was mentioned, and you were told that the dude was acting real fucking weird before. Okay, that. so for a little bit more of a comprehensive um, playback for you in that case, you came to this town because you were asked for help. There was some sort of weird crime spree going on that the security couldn't handle themselves. When you got to the town, Jesse asked you to investigate a disturbance at the farm. Um, you went to the farm, you found um, a woman impaled, uh, a, a woman ghoul, impaled on a wall in the kitchen. Her husband, out in the barn, was shooting wildly at anybody who went by, screaming that he couldn't remember anyone and that they weren't supposed to be there. You all teamed up and beat up that old man in his barn until he died. Um, you got back to the town, um, you decided to get Billy Bob healed up because he had a broken leg. Um, Max decided to reprogram Mr. Medman so he can only rickroll everybody. And you all let Jesse know what you found at the barn. A madman who had forgot who his wife was. And got very, very violent. He came to the pub, he started asking around. Apparently this has been happening quite frequently. People have been getting very violent with each other and then not remembering that they were violent with each other. Like, as soon as it had happened. The barman also gave you a couple of other hints. Um, what else did the barman actually say to you? Let's see? Yeah, so the barman told you that um, the woman who you found impaled had been in the barn and had been staying there quite late because she didn't want to go home. Obviously, her, you, know I mean, you came to the conclusion that her husband must have been Getting, getting, uh, getting, getting on with that dementia a little bit there. Um, also, the man himself, old man Joseph, he came to the bar a good number of times. He was violent when he was there, and even going so far as to beating up the doctor of the town while there on one night. Jesse has encouraged you to keep on investigating, find out why this is happening, because the... The memory loss thing is really getting people worried. It's getting people freaked out. And of course the violence is getting hard to contain. Then I say we go contain the violence right away. Alright, so hopefully you all sort of now remember why we're here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the alcohol is slowly wearing off on the human size. <laughs> I'm not human. We go see Doctor? I suppose so. Maybe he learned something while he was getting his ass kicked. Or we just go kick the guy's ass that was doing the beating in the first place and see what he's up to. Well, we, we already kill killed him. Yeah, so oh I think oh. I just, I just, I just, might be sorry. a issue. <laughs> he, he died already. He could take him out of his grave and fashion, but I think that might be a bit much. 
Mm. We bury him. What about the? Hey, why, why, why doesn't Max go and talk to his wife? See if, he, see if his wife knows anything. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That took me a second to realize. <laughs> <laughs> Dead coo. Uh, Max Dr. Powers is just going to shut the hell up this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Man. Um. Okay, because in the meantime, with these three are sort of just talking. Can I uh, go up to the bar and talk to the uh, bar man? Certainly. The robot floats over from his place at the table and goes to the bar, where the barman is still standing. None of you have any idea whether or not this man has slept, or whether or not he does sleep. Um, how are you, good sir? Yeah, robot. Yes. What do you need? Information. I need to understand more about these, um, the, the violent episodes we've been I said all on you last night. Weird stuff's been happening. Tin can, you miss drinking game. You don't get information unless you drink. I don't drink with no robot. <laughs> I'll drink with you. That racist. Can I um scan the bar man? Like try to figure out if he's like got anything wrong with him. Or got any ailments or Sure thing. Um how would you like to go about scanning him? <laughs> Um, from a distance, <laughs> I've got a feeling if I get close to him, it's going to be violence. Um, okay, you look intensely at the man. Yeah, but... put finger in butthole. <laughs> <laughs> as far as you can tell, he is a man. He's probably in his late forties, early fifties, and he has a bit of a limp. Right. Okay, so can I, um, how did you get that limp? I'm old. God, you know it's bad being Carmen's <laughs> taking the reins. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should just go and see the doctor. We probably, we probably should, yes. <laughs> Alright, so as Carmen's talking to the barman, everybody else gets up from their seats and leaves the pub. Bye, Tin Can. <laughs> How did you get that again? That's too high. <laughs> Toodaloo, motherfucker. Okay, bad deal. Leave me alone, robot. <laughs> I must serve you. I must heal that limp, sir. That's. I don't think he's into that. Okay, let's get everybody back outside the pub okay. into the town. Well, hang on. I'm going to go upon the barm and saying no. I just want to be fixed. I am going to walk out dejectedly. From, well, not walk out, but float out dejectedly. Like, you go to manifest legs. Yes, down <laughs> Like knocking no, shit over important. on your way out. <laughs> he turns upside down and uses his creepy metal hands to like spider crawl him out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hard thing for. Alright, so you all get outside of the pub and the sun is shining in the sky. It's hard to tell there even was a storm last night. Everything's looking great. The, uh, the town seems to be reasonably busy. There's not as many people as there would be out and about. It is still early. And there are two traders set up in the trading circle in the middle of town. Um, people are just sort of wandering about, getting on a bit with the thing, trying to get on with the day, but you can tell from the air that morale in this town is kind of low. Everybody's just that wee bit on edge. <laughs> Where be jerky man? We leave him in bar. He's probably fell down a sewer grate somewhere. It's likely still hungover. Billy Bob is resting from his inebriation and needs a 12 hours recovery. Or well, essentially a day's recovery. Oh, there you go. Okay, so to give you a reminder of what's going on in the town here. Um, and this, like I said pre previously, this town is basically built around this roundabout. It's a circular, it's a circular town with the the trading centre in the middle of the town. Um, you are currently on the right hand side of the town. Uh, if you go to the south, you will find the exit to the town. Next to that is the main guardhouse where the mayor's office is. 
so you can go talk to him. Next to that is the entrance to the farm where you've already been. And at the north of the town, you'll find this metal building, which is used as the clinic. To the clinic, so we can talk to the doctor. Yep, sounds good. Yeah. All right, excellent. Everybody starts walking towards the clinic. Um, you do hear some um, some raised voices coming from the coming from the trading center as you're walking by, as if two men are having an argument. Ooh. What are they fighting about? All right. So is the argument going to distract you from going to the clinic? Yeah. I'm not Medman, but I'm a robot. I don't get this guy. <laughs> okay, so the robot continues on to the clinic. <laughs> Medman, there could be injured parties here, isn't it your responsibility? There are no oh, injured participants. How do you know a, that? A he's, on, area. he's a robot god. Yeah. Omnis omnipresent. <laughs> all knowing, all seeing. I, I do have three eyes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, excellent. So, um, you start walking towards the trade post then instead of the instead of the clinic, and the the sound of two men sharp shouting, raised voices, and argument gets it starts to get louder. You start to be able to hear what's going on, but before you can actually tell what's actually being said between them, you get towards them, and one of them draws a gun. That's when I pull out my hunting rifle and point it at him. Ooh, All right, so to, picture. Let, so to let you know what's happening, these are, these are the two traders that we were talking about earlier, um, apparently having a, having a disagreement over some sort of trade. Um, one of them is a scavenger, and one of them is a well-known trader to the town that everybody calls the Quartermaster. The scavenger has drawn a gun, you don't know why, and Max Power has decided to draw his rifle and point it at the scavenger. I say we end this right here by lowering our weapons. How's that sound, boys? Hey, 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 get that gun off me. This this bastard here, he owes me caps. All right, well, we can settle that without guns. You lower yours, I'll lower mine. You tell him, you tell him, you point that gun at him. He's the one that's in the wrong here. The quartermaster replies, hey, 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 now. I ain't never seen this scavenger before. Man came in claiming that, he, that he, I owe him caps. That's not true. Well, we don't know who's in the wrong here, but you're the only one with the gun out. All right, so... Max, make a wee check for me. So you're threatening the scavenger with your gun. Um, let's see if we can do a wee check, see if, he's, see if he's actually threatened by you. Go for a charisma check, I think. But this time, put it against a weapon skill uh, instead of the usual speech skill. So you're threatening with a gun. So give me... Charisma against small guns. I don't have charisma on mine. Or just use small guns versus charisma. Yeah, small gun versus charisma. So. Oh. Alright, so your target there was a 7. You've rolled a 10 and an 11. So this scavenger does not believe that you're going to shoot him. So he's still got his gun out. He's threatening. He's, he's actually threatening Max now. He's like, put that gun away. You what are you doing? Your, you lower yours, I will lower mine, and then we will settle this. Posty man, not very intimidating. <laughs> Can I fire a warning shot like near his feet? <laughs> you, fair enough, you can fire a warning shot near his feet. Um. Go ahead and roll a gunshot, I guess. Small guns or big guns? Oh, yes. Yeah, just your... You should be able to click your weapon. You're hunting oh, okay. people. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Alright. So, um, you're not like you were trying to target anything anyway, but you did manage to fail the shot as if you were looking to target something. So, you fire a shot with your gun... And the town, so you hear a few screams, the town, townspeople all sort of duck down a little bit, and suddenly guards start pouring out of the guardhouse. Fuck. Also, 
a metal protection unit starts coming toward you. And Max Power finds himself surrounded by security. All right, look, maybe we got off on the wrong foot. All right, I'm putting my gun away. It's it's too late. One of them has already grabbed your gun. What do you do? Do you do you let him? Are you going to cooperate with law enforcement here? No, of course not. All right, uh, so you decide to fight with one of the guards <laughs> <laughs> in order to keep your gun. This, <laughs> so let's have a look. I'm going to let you do a little strength check for me. Give me an athletics one. You're going to be um, tussling with one of the guards. I don't want no part of this. All right, yeah, success. You managed to push one back. of the guards off of you, just for two more to take their place and grab your arms by your back. Oh, come on. <laughs> the guards start dragging Max towards the towards the guardhouse. Bye, ghosty man. It was either going to be him or the ghoul, so... While the, while the two are dragging him, the third one that he pushed over manages to get back onto his feet, and he punches Max in the face. Max, you take two points of damage. <laughs> are these guys not robots? No, only one of them was a robot. Oh, okay, I was going to say, <laughs> the robot's pissing him. <laughs> The robot, realising that the humans have took care of the job, has decided to take its post back in the stage, next to the guardhouse. Max is now currently imprisoned. <laughs> the scavenger, happy with this, puts his gun away. And he starts arguing with the quartermaster again over the caps that he owes them. Well, it looks like my vacation plans just got an upgrade. <laughs> Tell the warden to reserve me the penthouse suite for me. I got a reputation to maintain, even behind bars. <laughs> oh. So I think we'll, uh, we'll 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 keep things in the town square for the moment, and then we'll go to and then we'll go to Max in the prison. <laughs> Somehow you just have a harmonica. Oh, I'm on the clerk. Right, so. This argument's continuing between the scavenger and the quartermaster. The scavenger swears that this man owes him caps. Apparently, given the information that you now know, he's being a little bit more specific about it now that he's guns away. Um, it was a Tarberry trade. He even has a receipt from the quartermaster. The quartermaster, however, still um, maintains that he doesn't know. He doesn't know this, the scavenger at all. I have a jerky man, Selberry. You get confused? I do get confused sometimes. Okay, so I'm going to step in here. Can I um, talk to these traded people who are arguing? So, you can. I want to try and figure out why this man thinks he is owed caps. Cap so, just explained that. No, 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 because no, the quartermaster said that he doesn't owe this guy cap, but the, uh, the guy is still arguing. Yeah, because yeah, he why. has a receipt. Yeah, he has a receipt. Exactly. Cartman. Hear me out. Because okay. what I want to know is why the quartermaster is not recognising the receipt. Maybe he's forgotten about it. Uh... So that one is a smart idea for once. Yeah, but it's tricky because I'm not a robot. And what I just said then, by the way, I didn't say in the game. That was just yeah, side note. You know what, Cartman? Seeing as you're being quite smart about this, give me an intelligence check against the medicine. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so that is currently a failure. His target was a 9, he had a 17 and a 14. Um, oh dear. I can remind you that there is ways to re-roll those dice if you want. How? I might do that. I might give another re-roll. Yeah, I mean, if you want to spend a luck point. Ah, can I spend two more and do a... Hey, I could spend two luck points. Okay, and do two rocks, two, 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 and two rocks. Ah, you right? can spend as many as you want. Yep, two, two luck points. Go for it, re-roll them. Or, if the guys don't mind, can I use an action point? No, you don't use an action point for that. How many action points have we even got? We've got six. Do your luck first. Five. Do yeah, you've got first. five action points at the moment, so... Yeah, do your luck first. Okay, that's going to come down to... Three luck. Two. Do I have to do another roll, then? Yeah, you can just do another roll. All right, excellent. Well, you've actually managed to get two successes, which is lucky because this was a difficulty two check. 
Um, you man, you've rolled um, you've rolled a three and a seventeen, and because medicine is one of your four skills that you've got tagged, um, you actually get two successes for anything that rolls one, two, and three. And it would turn out that your intuition may be correct here. You are able to determine that the quartermaster seems to be suffering from some sort of partial amnesia. See, you do get confused. This man uh, is what, ill. What, I, what? What are you talking? No, no. I'm not confused. I don't know. I've not met... Wait. Have I, have I met this man? Yes. He had a receipt with your um, signature on it. How else would he have had that? It's... In addition, our com- robotic companion here is a medbot. If you are suffering some amnesia, it would know. Hmm. I, this is just... This, I don't like I don't like this at all. Look, look. And he's talking to the scavenger now. Puts his hand on the scavenger's shoulder. He's trying to calm him down. He's looking at their seat. He says, this, this does look like one of mine. This does. Just... Hmm. He's very, very confused. He doesn't know what to say. Um, so he's very reluctant to admit that he's forgetting stuff at the moment. So he just says, look, we'll sort things out. End of the day with you. Let's just stick here. Finish our day's trade. We'll sort things out. And the scav- scavenger is a uh, scavenger's calmed down by this point. He's talking to him. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You better fucking sort things out. You fucking better. Where have you been recently? Where have I been? Uh, here. I've been what here the past mean? two weeks. Have you drank or eaten anything special? Just the usual. And what, what is the usual? usual? Oh, it's just the stuff served here. We all get the water from the river out back. We all get the food uh, from the farms. Yeah, I water dirty. You were that or Tarbury. Okay, so I'm, I'm not saying this out loud, but my uh, my thoughts of the med bot would be um, contaminated areas. I'd like to go and maybe check them out. Check so, if he has any contact with the farmer dude as well. The farmer, farmer needs to water his crop. Yeah, but, yeah. but like, I mean the quartermaster. So I'm going to turn around to the group and say, contaminated areas of interest, uh, please follow. Even Gertrude could tell you that. It's definitely a potential idea. So can we go do the water source then? Or why, do they have like a, a community well? Anything? Well, hold on. Why not we buy stuff first? We already did that. We here now with traders. They yes. have more shinies. We bought something at the uh, hospital, but not elsewhere. Although, we don't have most caps in the world, we do have a fair amount. Yeah, so if you want to have a look at their, their stocks at the moment, you'll, fe- you'll see that the scavenger... Scavenger, uh, the stocks are basically just what you would expect from your local scav. He's got, uh, he's got pipe guns in various formats, he's got some ammunition going, um, some like food and tins, that kind of thing. Uh, Quartermaster has very much the same, however, with a better stock. He's not just got pipe guns, he's got other guns as well. Better selection of ammos. He's even got some armor pieces and stuff. And the food that he's selling. He doesn't really trade in food, but he does have some drinks. Any robot parts? Uh, If you're looking for robot parts, you're looking at the Quartermaster for that. He does have robot repair kits. Tell you what, I am going to just post here in the Discord. So they're stock. Straight. Yeah. How much can we actually afford of this? None. Probably. Well, given that, um, does anybody have the money that Billy Bob won last night? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> How much did he win again? Oh, I hope he's updated his, his sheet Because I have the group <laughs> one, which is currently at 83 caps. So he has 122. That, then, yes, no, he has he's a... Kept, he's kept it, yeah, he's got it with yeah. him. Hurry, so good roll. Belly Bob's got 122, and what? winnigan has got everybody else's caps. About 87. Uh, 83. Gertrude have six cap. Yeah. 83. Well, luckily, I mean, nothing goes as high as 80, so that's grand. Um, so this is the scavengers. Oh, wait, that's just general. Hold on a second. Let me get that to the player chat. Right. 
There is the scavenger inventory. So with food, he's got like tins of cram. He's got some hammers for melee weapons. He's got um, Gertrude wants sledgehammer. <laughs> oh dear. And like I said, he's got pipe gun, pipe revolver, pipe bolt action. So he's got pipe guns in various formats, and he's got a few bit different bits of um, ammunition. You'll see the numbers next to them. Those are the prices. Bird lady, bird lady. And hold on, look, you, you you can see the quartermasters as well, so I'll show you the quartermasters. Let's peruse both stocks first, in case yep. they have, I don't know, a lead right. pipe for you. Yeah, oh, as you can see, the... quartermasters oh, got a bit more in their inventory. They've got more different kinds of ammunition, including fusion cells and shotgun Ooh, shells. Um, they've got oh, wow, the pipe right. guns that the scavengers got, but they've also got like laser muskets, combat rifles, and railway rifles. Um... He has sharp pointy stick. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's why we wait to see both. Yeah, so you've got the scavenger and you've got the quartermaster and luckily you've managed to calm things down so both are willing to trade with you. I the hammer. <laughs> uh, which does better, sledgehammer or the sword? Oh, sword's more expensive, so sword. Bird lady. It might be a stat thing. Yeah, would you like to know the stats of them? Yes. yes please. All right. So you want to compare a sledgehammer, which is a melee weapon, has all physical damage and does five hit dice worth of damage. Okay. And the sword. Where the hell did the sword go? Sword there is there. Melee oh, weapon. Lady. It does piercing damage. Okay. Um. Piercing one damage, physical damage, so it does four hit damage worth of dice. However, that piercing damage um, is additional. So, Ooh. are any of these two-handed? The sledgehammer. Yeah, the sledgehammer. Um, because I have the big leagues perk, which when you make a melee attack with a two-handed melee weapon, the weapon gains vicious damage effect. Nice. Then this would be the uh, sledgehammer then for you, wouldn't it? Be the one. Fort Lady. Yes, Gertrude? Gert Gertrude won't hammer. Well, we certainly have the funds for it. Gertrude won't hammer. Um, to... Can uh, I try to barter for the hammer, please? Barter? Yeah, try to talk him down price. If you wish to. I'm going to try to, yeah. Uh-oh. Okay. All right. Well, let's see. Is there anything else that people want? So, are we, are we just going to let Cartman barter for a hammer right now, or are and we a, looking for anything else to add to your inventory? Oh, okay. So we robot have repack. Cartman. Do you have any money of your own, or are you destroying group fund right now? This is group fund. Yeah. Okay. So group fund is eighty four, and the sledgehammer is forty, and the repair kit is forty eight. See what I mean? We're, we're four yeah, caps so... up. So I need to. I need to land this barter. <sighs> Gertrude has six cap. Gertrude give you six cap. I'd prefer if we didn't spend every single cap we have. <laughs> we would have one cap left. Okay, right, I want to barter this. Can I Does please? nobody know please? about Billy Bob's fill pockets right now? <laughs> we can't, he's down a drain somewhere. We can't get to him. <laughs> go try and rob him. Find him. Capture I want to, his... I want to try this barter. Because, I mean, we, got, we should have some... Please let me use the AP points. We should. No. Damn it. I'm going to have to use all my luck then. Yes, but then I am the med. I am okay. I'm, this is not. I'm, you I'm haven't not tried to barter yet. You don't even like. <sighs> yeah, tried. I haven't. I haven't even explained to you how barter works yet. And you're oh, <laughs> you system. already assumed you failed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Joe. You know, the second thought. I uh, maybe barter is not a good idea actually for me. I'll, 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 I'll shut up that. Just is your charisma stat. that? Let bad? him explain it, and then we'll yeah. sort it out. All right. Okay. So. Bartering. It is just a skill check here. Obviously, you're going to have to try and make it sound like something that I would want to um, barter with you for. So, what will happen is once you do that skill check, every success that you get is going to affect the price by 10%. The more successes you get, the better the price will be. And the failures? No, the failures aren't going to um, knock it up oh, unless, thank God. unless the failures are crit. Okay. Ah, ah shit. So regular <laughs> failures are just going to be like him saying no, 
Um, so critical failures get, are having me to get pissed it. off at you. <laughs> okay. So this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to drop two luck points in this. So I'm now down to one luck. Why are you dropping luck points? You, yeah, haven't, even you haven't even rolled yet, mate. Yeah, I know, but hear me out. Oh, this is what I'm going to do. I want to drop two luck into it. So that means it's a okay. four dice roll. So you, can't then if buy, I it. you can't buy additional dice with luck. You can only re-roll ah. dice with luck. Ah. So you would need to spend action points if you want to roll additional dice. And also, roll no, because if you roll the additional dice and dice. Hit crit fails, we're fucked. Yeah, but... I've got a decent charisma, I think. Just roll it flat and see what happens. Yeah. I would like at least one AP point. Just roll it Give flat. Give me three dice. Way. You guys are too stingy with your AP. We have never used AP in the three games we've had. Gertrude will smash you with frying pan again. Just roll the check, Carmen. <laughs> <laughs> the Get in that. the robot, Shinji. <laughs> the... Oh. No. Okay, so Still he's got. Just... Okay, let me just let me just get this round my head at the moment. Cartman has been arguing that he wants to barter for this sledgehammer for how long now? A good five minutes or so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. He has a barter skill of zero. Yep, he does. Does anyone have a barter skill? Uh, no. I think we left <laughs> our face drunken at the bar. <laughs> I, I have Billy a barter Bob. skill. Oh. <laughs> One guy in jail. Shit. Well, we'll be down your oh. bail if we do that. Who knows how much they're going to make us oh, spend your ass out there. spending it with bail money. <laughs> Gertrude really want hammer. While this is going on, I'm tempted to just go and change this change scene right now. <laughs> while you, know you guys what? are arguing, do it. Do you know what, yeah. Hartman? You fucked up enough. We're just getting the sledgehammer. <laughs> your failure. Your your fault. But you don't Mom, get your med kit. I am the bath of genius. Please, one you more used, time. You used your pocket money up. There's nothing else. We're getting the sledgehammer. Did you oh. want to do a wheel luck? <laughs> no, no, we leave it there. No. Okay, so <laughs> let's just try and actually roleplay what was going on there. So you asked the quarter, no, you asked the scavenger for the sledgehammer, right? Or the quartermaster. Which one has the scavenger. sledgehammer? Right, so the robot goes up to the scavenger and asked for the sledgehammer. Please, sir, give me the sledgehammer. It is a marvellous piece of equipment. We must have it. Oh, what is th- your best prize? Why, thank you, robot. That's fairly nice of you to see. Here's a sledgehammer, 40 caps. Hmm. Would you take 37? No. Bugger. <laughs> I'll leave it there. Okay, do you give him the caps? Give him the 40 caps, yeah, he does not have them on him. I was going to say, yeah. Winnegan's got, got the purse. <laughs> Robot, stop wasting my time. Winnie, it's all yours! <sighs> uh, we're getting a sledgehammer, if you, if you would. Yeah, 40 caps, love. Absolutely, here you go. Brilliant. And Gertrude, a gift for you. And when he's going to struggle to pick up this <laughs> sledgehammer, this clue oh, actually, can I get you to do a, can I get you to do a strength check right now? <laughs> oh no. She's yeah. going to attempt to hand it to uh, Gertrude. Gertrude's going to squeal like a little girl. <laughs> uh, strength against what? Just... Yeah, strength against that athletics, go for. Okay, we're going to... Nope! <laughs> yeah. When again tries to pick it up off of the off of the desk to pass to Gertrude, she drops it, it lands on her foot, she takes one point of damage. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Our roll has been terrible tonight. What is the damage on this then? You said it was five, right? One, apparently. Oh, uh, yeah. If, if you just drop on your foot, it's only one. <laughs> oh, I mean, for the actual weapon itself. <laughs> yeah, it's five hit dice, so you want to add in to your weapons the sledgehammer, it's a melee weapon, physical type damage. It is five hit dice. Five hit dice. Got it. Lovely. <laughs> Good you, that's hammer. All right. And before you guys have any more conversation just now, let's head to the guardhouse. Nah. <laughs> so, I wasn't expecting anyone to have to really go to prison, but then <laughs> Max Power decided to fire off his gun in the middle of a town while everybody's getting on with their business. So... We're going to do a little prison scene. <laughs> Max has been thrown in a cell next to the mayor's office. 
the mayor himself comes to the comes to the cage that he's in and goes, What what why are you still in town? Uh we were actually just gathering some things up and on our way out and uh kinda ran into an incident. I was just at the wrong place at the wrong time and did something stupid. What what do you mean wrong place? You fired your gun in the middle of my town? I do apologize about that, but sometimes I do get a little feisty. Feisty? You call that feisty? No, it was just a warning shot. It's not like I was actually going for him. You don't get to fire warning shots. What do you think this is? Alright, it won't happen again, I promise. And if it does happen again, then you can keep me in jail forever. <laughs> Let me do a quickly persuasion check then, go on. Do a speech check. See if, see, if he, see if he feels for you. Speech versus what? Just charisma? That's charisma, yeah. Right. Oh my god, you succeeded. <laughs> he only had a target of five because his speech and his charisma are crap, but he still managed to roll a four. So, so Jesse relents. He goes, "Oh my god, you are genuinely an idiot, aren't you?" <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. I think that we should probably get you back to I don't know your are your parents here or or. Do- <laughs> I, I will go. Feels a shudder down his spine. <laughs> I will Good go with the group no. and allow Mister Medbod to watch over me. All right. So, so you've got a uh, you've got a robot social worker. Fantastic. Thank God there's somebody here to take you off my hands. Right. <laughs> um, so I think Jesse's going to leave and actually get a guard to go and fetch um, your who, who he thinks is your parents <laughs> and. <laughs> <laughs> See if they can take their feisty child away from them. So, Who's the sassy lost child? <laughs> yeah, who the hell is this? <laughs> All right, excellent. So we're going to go back out to the uh, to the town square where you guys have just successfully negotiated yourself a deal for a shiny, shiny new sledgehammer. <laughs> I have a hammer. Not big as this one. Uh, Max, you're still in jail. <laughs> like, they've, they've sent someone to get your parents. You're, you're not there yet. <laughs> right, so the three of you are at the, the town the, the town centre doing your trading. Is there anything else you want to do at this town centre? Any more questions you want to ask? Anything else you want to buy? No. Well, we're, I mean, we we're pretty low on funds, so... Has the scavenger drank the water? So you're asking oh, the scavenger something. if he's drank the water? Uh, you the uh, scavy man. Do uh, you drink water here? Dude, God, that's a big lady. Uh, the, no, 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 I only got here yesterday. Um, I've got my own supplies. Mm. But you quartermaster, you drink water. Well, well, yeah, yeah. I mean... Everybody does. Hmm. Quick group check. The only thing we've drunk since we've got here is ale. Correct? I don't uh, yes. drink. Well, Ye- yes, of course you don't drink. We know this. Well, oil may be in your case, actually, but... Gertrude, I'm assuming? Booze. Yeah, I think you might be right there, Winnegan. The only thing that anybody has actually drank so far is booze. We are all going to be... Sev- Severely dehydrated. <laughs> but that might actually be a good thing this time. Uh, we should probably go collect our spicy idiot. Alright, as, fin- as you're finishing up your deliberations and um, discussing what you're looking to do next, you get interrupted by a man in a little guard uniform with a, with a laser musket at his side. And he he's like, um, did anybody bring a, did anyone bring a really tall idiot child? We brought two. Right Which one? <laughs> Gertrude, don't put yourself down like that. Oh, Gertrude, no, Gertrude, stupid. I'm a look, robot. Look, we've got the moron firing off shots in the air. Just somebody please go and pick him up. That would be Max. Let's oh. go get him. Alright, excellent. So everybody starts walking towards the, the, the guardhouse. 
Pockets no longer split. My God. <laughs> Brilliant. Everybody enters the guard house all at the same time, I guess. And um, Jesse looks at you, kind of surprised, kind of shocked. He's like, "What? What the hell are you all still doing here?" Water poison. What? Water? Are you? See- <laughs> we don't know that it's the water. We suspect the quartermaster has had a temporary bout of that violent kind of madness resolved without issue this time, but it's worrying. I I have diagnosed the quartermaster with a sufficient case of amnesia. Oh, he also doesn't seem to remember some trade deals. Jesse seems um, unconcerned and just says, I'm quite sure the quartermaster will be fine. Mr. Mayor? you drunk the water? I was about to say the same thing. <laughs> of course we drank the water. Everybody's drank the water. What? Hmm. Where? Well, then, should we uh, pick up our miscreant child? Miscreant child? What, what are you talking about? The grown man that likes shooting things. Ah, oh, oh, right, yes, I, yeah. Uh, yeah, you know what? You t- if you just just make sure he doesn't fire off his gun again, would you please? Mm-hmm. We'll put it on the top shelf. So Go Jesse take it again. Jesse hands the uh, the rifle that's sitting on his desk to Winnegan and goes and releases Max from his cage. Ghosty man, look, new hammer. Ooh, nice. I like it. Might no touch. I okay, actually can have a hammer I can share with you. It'd be good. Oh, well, it's a nice one. Would you like to see it? I don't think we want to see that, and also you'll get arrested again. Obviously, no, this no, is no. a crime. <laughs> no, no. not sure anymore. <laughs> no, no, no. Hold on. It is in the... Who's next? Max oh. Carr is wearing a trench coat by any chance. <laughs> Max, <laughs> I, sorry. Josh, are you about to try and produce something that... Right, okay. So, you didn't have that in your inventory. Don't... <laughs> oh. <laughs> but if you had a, if you if you did read through the um the list of items that was on those uh, those traders. Yeah. I did have both a regular hammer and a missile listed as things that you could buy. So that you could create So that. the opportunity was there to put that together if you wanted to, but, but I was in you jail. do not have that in your inventory and you were in jail the entire time. <laughs> so don't start trying to produce weird random weapons from <laughs> nowhere. For those of you listening, he put a picture of a mortar attached to a pipe. <laughs> so, oh, okay, can I turn around to the group and say, I would like to check the water source for sufficient cleanliness. Follow me. Then can we go to the lake? Water. I like how the robot's taking charge of this one. This is good. Yeah. <laughs> so, does yeah, everybody really want to follow the robot to the lake? He is a okay. medical professional, they after all. Don't have to follow me. I'm just going to go there on my own. <laughs> I followed him, can. Something about a robot and water doesn't strike me as quite a good idea. Could be fun. They can scan the water as long as they don't get wet. They'll be fine. Even if it rains or you know a little bit of radioactiveness, they'll they'll pull through. He's got stuck in a doorway twice. Yeah. Well, this is floating over water. Let's see what can happen. <laughs> Three times now, I think. Oh. Or four. See, I love this. It's a robot flying ahead. And you three just muttering behind him, just talking shit about him. It's <laughs> like, damn robot. <laughs> they really don't make them very well, do they? <laughs> so our group crosses the town. They go from the uh, left-hand side of the town, sort of to the south, over to the right-hand side of the town, kind of northernly, where the exit of the town goes down to the river. The robot is moving ahead, while the other three are sat beside, behind, are, are bringing up the rear, and muttering to each other, wondering why the robot's such so shit at things. <laughs> <And> <laughs> All right, so you make it down to the river, where there is a small building currently occupied by one what looks like a child. This is their ro- water filtering system. It is currently pumping out water into different kind of receptacles, large bottles, and um, and small bottles alike. 
Okay, so I'm the first um, thing there. Um, so I, I'm not going to look at the filtration system at the moment. I'm just going to go straight to the water and put a probe in it. Just... All right. Okay. Um, well, you don't have a probe, but uh, oh, okay. yeah, you, you can go. You can go over. You can test put the water. your. Yeah, I'm going to let you test the water. We'll we'll do some sort of science check for you. See if you can test the water. You, I don't know if maybe your eye stop is able to detect certain minerals. So we'll, we'll, we'll just make something up like that. So give me a science check. So uh, your science skill, I guess, I mean, I guess it means the intelligence will be okay. the best. Yeah, science and intelligence, that's the, the two links. So I'll just mm -hmm. do that. No additional science. Cool. All right, so success. Um, this looks like a normal running uh, river uh, to you. The radiation levels are exactly as you would expect given the time that it's been since the bombs dropped. Um, so it's not null radiation, but it's it's not enough to kill somebody without excessive use of the water. Okay. Well, the child in the water filtering facility does appear to be working in the water and in order to get that radiation down as low as possible. Okay. Well, there's nothing particularly special about water itself. There's nothing particularly special about it at all. I mean, it's it's not the cleanest river you've, you've ever seen, but it's certainly not... There's nothing yeah. in there that you can detect that's likely to kill a person. Or Standard Commonwealth water. Standard Commonwealth water, that's right. Okay. Well, at this point, I'm guessing the other guys have talked to cats up, right? Yes. Okay, so I can turn around to the guy and say, The pH is precisely 6.87554, it's good enough. Um, I think the water is clean. I want to do a quick Google check here of the pH of water. Hold on a second. It's seven. <laughs> seven. <laughs> Excellent, Slightly fantastic. <laughs> what did he say it was 0 0.5? No, it's 6.845. Oh, okay, good enough, actually, yeah. That's normal. Brilliant. He managed to randomly just get there. <laughs> okay, so, um... You can drink between 6.5 and 8.5. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Cartman stays one. Yeah, Car so, Cartman's having a great day today. <laughs> it's likely not something with the water. It could have been something else. The food, coming into contact with another infected. Small child. What about a small child? There's one there. Oh. Maybe What's they know. I don't think they're going to know what place in entire town unless they're an odd ghost child, but... Sure. Uh... Kid? Child? Small human? Yeah, lady, what's up? You notice anything odd about the river? Yeah, nothing odd. No. This kid have very deep voice for child. <laughs> Sorry. Um... Hi, lady! <laughs> <laughs> I am this town's water purification manager. How can I help? That seemed like a bad idea to give child job. Well, it seems like child labor laws survived the apocalypse anyhow. Hey, when did you start working? I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> hmm. uh, so the river seems fine. Then. Nothing abnormal about it? No, nothing abnormal here. Water runs. I get it through the system, water runs, I get it through the system, I give it to the townspeople. Fair enough. And I get cats. I bit me to see what's actually causing it. Might be to keep an eye on that scavenger? They have their own water supply and presumably food, so if it's not either of those things and they still get infected, or know that it's what contact. I got some baseball cards, do you want to see my baseball cards? <gasps> yes! Gertrude C. Baseball card. Um, in, in the meantime, while they're chatting, can I examine the um, mechanical systems, like the, the actual filtration pump system itself? No problem. Let's see. Yeah, the robot, <laughs> as the super mutant, is bonding with a child over both baseball cards. The robot does a wee 360 around the outside of the water purification system and just has a wee look over it with his eye stock. Um, let's see what kind of check we're going to get for that one. It's not going to be the same as before because this is a machine. It's not 
I think I'm thinking of a repair one for this one. Is it repair? Yeah, give me a repair. Give me a repair check. Okay. Hmm. Okay, but I'm gonna spend one luck with my repair skill quite low. You haven't rolled it yet, yeah, you don't I have know, to spend I, a luck. I, I know, I realised that after I'd said it. So, yeah, <laughs> silly me. Alright, so you got close, but that's oh. still a fail. Target was 8, you rolled a 9 and a 12. Would you like to spend a luck? You're really cracking through these luck points, mate. <laughs> I know, that's the thing, I've only got 3 left. And I, and, and I can't, like, regen my luck, can I? Your luck regens at certain points during the story. Oh, um, it's not something. It, yeah, it's like it's like chapters and stuff like that. It really depends. It's, it's there. There are there are points at which you will regain your luck. Um, AP is a little bit easier because that's just additional successes get, gets your AP. But um, but luck is based on what part of the story you're at. So this entire part of the story, so the murder investigation story, your luck is for that entire story. Okay. Hmm. And how far are we through the story? Well, I'm not going to tell you that. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Yeah. I like to use action point, but everyone sort of slammed me with that one. <laughs> oh, go on. Use a fucking action point. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, roll an additional dice for me then. Uh, okay. So... Just 1d20. Okay. And it's still a fail. Yeah. Yeah. So you look around the you look around the the water purification system, and you realise you have no idea how it works. Rip. Maybe it's the tarberry. Oh, what is tarberry, by the way? This is a tree I have not played for, and do not know what the fuck it oh, is. No, I think Basically, I think, yeah. Yeah. I should let, I should let Cap explain. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, they're pretty close to potatoes, I guess. Okay. Evil potatoes? Hallucinogenic potatoes? Or like... No, Are we looking at pretty... a food that... Ev oh, I think sorry. a standard. Ra yeah. radioactively mutated potato. Yeah. Okay, so like a regular food that could have been poisoned rather than a food that is just plain... No. <laughs> just like a, edible, just, yeah. just, just like a farmable food. food, yeah. Edible. Okay. Tarberries are a water-grown crop producing a small purple tarberry. These berries are used... Ah, berries, in... sorry. Not like potatoes. More like berries, yeah. Yeah. What was I thinking about with the potatoes? What's that one called? Carmen. No, you're, you're right. It's, um... Oh. Tattoes? Uh, oh, potatoes. Potatoes. Well, I mean, no. yeah, it's yeah. a tomato, potato. Still, te still teas, but you get it. Yeah, so that was just the berries. Berries. Um, like fruit. Okay. But they're water berries. So having a berry field doesn't make sense considering they're supposed to be grown in waters. But I should just point out that tar berries, they're legitimately fine. They're just uh, either edible okay, they're fine. Yeah, they're not, there's no okay, problem. Good. There's not like a special thing. Yeah. It's just because Matt lopped onto it. I was like, oh shit, is this nightshade? <laughs> 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 no, dude, that's fine. So, uh, I need, the thing is, uh, we need to see if, the, if it's something in the machinery that's making these people crazy. I mean, the kid at Wait, hang on. Like was the farm injured. the farm we were at? Were they growing tarberries? Yes. Yes. And the trader had tarberries. Okay, yeah. Then uh, that makes some amount of sense. And the man was crazy at the farm, and the kid does not sound crazy. The kid does actually sound legit. Honest. Yeah. Hold on. Child, you eat tarberry? Tarberry and cream. Uh, yeah, I eat tarberries. Oh, sorry. This is the child. Hold on. <laughs> get, get, get my voice. He's mixed up here. <laughs> he, has own personal, he has his own personal supply of tarberries. No, the, the, the child both drinks the water and has ate the tarberries. Okay. Uh, maybe it's still contact then? Max? Cap, you're going to have to throw repair? us a bone here, mate. Yes, because I want to ask, so what, Max, what is your repair? Is it better than mine? Josh isn't here right now, you dumbass. Fuck, what would it be? Has anybody else got no. a better repair? Because we need to figure uh, out if the machine What's is your. Way. Hold on, stop. What is your repair? It's intelligence too. Actually, where, where am I at? <laughs> oh, you are here. 
Yeah, I put it in chat that I'm, I'm back. Yeah. Hey, give us a repair check, Max. What's Max's? Oh. A repair check? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yay! Oh, thank God. Zero. Oh, thank God they succeeded. Still Brilliant. And he only had that target at four there as well. Brilliant. Yeah, there's yeah, a. Andy Josh. Max is having a look over the uh, the water purification systems as well, and he's finding absolutely nothing wrong with it. Nothing that he can see. There's no sign that the water is contaminated, is changed, and the water purification system is actually working really, really well. It's generating some of the least radiated water you've seen in the wasteland. So it's not the water. So it's going back to the farm. You guys are so. You, the way, it doesn't take much to get you to forget something. I distracted you from going to see the doctor by putting an argument in oh. your way, and you're all like, oh. "All right, there's nowhere else to go then. Absolutely nowhere <laughs> else." <laughs> Gertrude has had an idea. Maybe we go to the doctor. Yeah. So throwing you a bone there, but. <laughs> Maybe go and talk to somebody who's medically trained and has seen the people in the town. But I'm medically <laughs> trained. <laughs> in our defence, the only thing we know about him is that he got his ass kicked. Not that he's infected, not that he knows anything, just that he got beat up. Let's go investigate why he got beat up and what he knows. Maybe he asshole. Well, could be, but there are two sides to every story. And I say we find out both. Okay. You might as well. <laughs> to the clinic. All right, excellent. Everybody walks back into town from the water place, back through the town square, and towards the clinic. Now you're all going to walk into the clinic, so let me change the scene. There you go, you're in the clinic now. And as you look to your right, you look to the reception, and you see there's nobody here today. Well, there's no staff here today anyway, and there's nobody in the waiting room. The uh, yeah. clinic's looking r rather empty. Maybe jerky man with jerky lady. <laughs> um, yeah, so the robot is going to go straight to the first door on the left. Essentially, we you know, people can't see the map, we see. But it's the one room that is blacked out. And I'm going to try to open that door. Yeah, so there is um, a corridor going up from the reception and to the left of the reception. Um, there is two doors to the left and two doors to the right. So department is going to the farthest door to the left. Whilst Cartman does this, can I just walk straight in and be like, Doctor. Where, Doctor. And I was going to take the room right here on the right. Alright, excellent. So we'll start with the, the super mutant seems to be shouting. Um, no reply is given from any of the rooms. So we'll move over to Carton and hold on a second, let me just get this fog of war off here. Really it is, there we go. That revealed. For me. There we go. <clears throat> there we go. Right. Okay. Okay. So yeah. right, so unfortunately you've managed to walk into the empty room. So this one has obviously been very obviously been very recently cleaned. Um so, something happened in here, regular medical stuff, probably, and the place is clean, organised, everything's in its place. Beds okay. are made. Um, but there's nobody in here, right? There's no, like... Nobody in there at all. Okay. Can I search the room for Simpax? Medical You equipment? can, yes. There is one cabinet in the room with some supplies in it. Right. I mean, um, I'm just you... going to loot the shit out of this, so yeah, no one's in here to, to tell me no, so take it, take it. All right, <laughs> excellent. So you do, you take a one stem pack, um, you take Mentat, which is a drug. Ooh. Ooh, I need to write down my infantry. So one stem pack, Ooh. one Mentat, and one irradiated blood pack. Wait, what? I found an irradiated blood pack. Now, that yes. is, now that's a thing of interest. So, huh? It's what he used on. Yeah, it's quite a normal medical supply in the post yeah. wasteland. Yeah. Oh, cool. So yeah, because we have you yeah, deal because with ghouls, don't you? No, sorry. Because you deal right. with ghouls sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I went. I went. I went down a whole different <laughs> avenue. Then yeah. No. Okay. So I need to write them down. Sorry. Yeah. Where doctor? 
All right. Was anybody else doing in while um, he was looting an empty room? We visit the other room, perhaps. I'd, I'd say that, that I wanted to go, wanted to, to, go to the room on the right from where yes, we're you at did. right now. All right. So this room is also. Oh, hold on a thing. Yeah, that revealed as well. This room is also empty. However, this one is not being cleaned, and the bed stains are sh are absolutely covered with blood, mm. stained, like and the blood seems here. fresh. Mm. Uh, gang, you might want to come in here and help me investigate. There danger in there. Uh, blood. It looks uh, appears to be fresh, and we're gonna toss the room and see what we could find. Blood dangerous. Pathogens could be uh, could cause problems. Right, we'll go to other room first. See if they're squishy in there to kill. Okay, well I'm going to investigate. You go deal with blood. I'll go investigate this room. All right, so we'll stick with Max at the moment. He is investigating the room that's got some some bloodied sheets in the bed. Um, let's do a quick perception check for you. So just give me perception against. Survival. There goes nothing. Yes. Ah, excellent. <laughs> Good couple of successes. You know what? You only needed one success for that, so I'm going to put your AP back up to five. Yay. All right, so um, in the cabinet, you find the um, bloody clothes of whoever it was that was supposed to be here. Um, in their pockets, you managed to get come away with ten caps. That will go uh, to you, the win again later. Yep, you can also see a cabinet with drugs in it. Uh, it looks like most of them has been used. Um, it's been pretty ransacked, and whatever medical procedure was going on in this room, it looked like it was done in quite a hurry. Hmm. Um, there are empty stem packs, but you do manage to find one. That hasn't been used, so the only drugs available in this room is one stem pack. Well, Where would I put this stem back under? Yeah. Can. yeah, you should be able to. There's a place just in your other. Um, I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So you managed to have a look through a couple of the rooms. So, um, Winnegan, are you looking in the... You said you were looking in the, the room next to Cartman, is that right? Yeah, I'm looking there. Excellent, so we'll start with Winnegan. That means you got the hot room, Max. <laughs> nah. That's right. All right, this room is occupied. Um, oh. And on one of the beds, there's a seven-year-old boy staring vacantly up at the ceiling. His eyes are wide and distant. Other than that, there's nobody else here. Does he look dead? No, he's sitting on the bed. His eyes are open. He's looking at the ceiling. Hello, tiny human. What, what is it that you're looking for? Are you alright? Who? You old enough to be able to speak? Uh, who? Who? Hmm. Hmm. Can I join Winnegan in the same room as the child? The robot. Why go through the owl? Maybe there's maybe some medicine to reverse the effects that he's feeling right now. Uh, is there anything else in the room other than this befuddled child? No, there's nothing else in this room other than the befuddled child. Except from, again, like the other rooms, there is a medicine cabinet. I'll oh, raid the medicine cabinet. Excellent. You raid the medicine cabinet, and um, you actually find a regular blood pack in this one, and another okay. stem pack. I'll dip to the gear then. Alright, excellent. So, um, after you've looked in all those rooms, Gertrude has made her way up to the top of the corridor, where she's found herself in the fourth room and last room of the clinic. And she opens the door, finds it's the biggest room. A real day area here. There we go. Yep. Re area revealed. Oh, a fancy bed. It's 
for conjugal visits. <laughs> All right, so that should be everybody on page now. Yeah, so the doctor's in this room. That's the first thing that she notices. So in the fourth room, the cleric's doctor is there. Hello. <laughs> The doctor is sat sobbing and clutching a clipboard to their chest. They appear to be extremely troubled. And uh, yeah, they're really frazzled as well. It looks like he hasn't slept in days. And he's just sat at his desk, clutching that clipboard, having a wee cry. Um, <laughs> don't worry, Gertrude, make bad drawing too. What 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 are you doing? Oh, get get out! Why, why you cry? <laughs> okay. <laughs> the idiot has found the doctor. What do you expect? <laughs> okay. Yep. 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 Um. So tell you what. You know what? Give me a little uh, charisma check here from Gertrude. <laughs> let's see. Let's see how calming. Gertrude is for this crying uh, doctor. Use your luck. She use just said BFT. <laughs> Charisma what exactly? Speech. Oh no. God. Is that a zero? Yep. <laughs> is that even possible? Eh, full charisma. Yeah. No, it's not possible. It. Alright, so, so the... I um, use... So the Can I use two luck to do You want to do two luck? Yeah, go for it. You've got a target of four. Try again. <laughs> Just for the sake of going for it. Oh, yeah, you yeah. made it! <laughs> the, Shocker. With a four. The doctor doesn't stop crying, <laughs> but he, he is actually able to hold a conversation now, so um, he says, like, what, what, why, why, why are you here? Why is anyone here? This is a clinic. People come here if they're sick, if they're injured. We've been so busy. So, so busy. Okay. Why you cry? <laughs> right. Uh, the doctor just looks up at the super mutant, confused. Confused and says, well, I'm just... Why why are you here? Why haven't you answered my question? Gertrude forget why Gertrude here. Okay, so as Gertrude's arguing with this doctor <laughs> forgetting why arguing. she's here, just looking at him as he's crying and as he's trying to figure out why Gertrude's in the room with him at the moment. It, is anybody else doing anything? Can I wander my way up to the room that Gertrude is currently in? Okay, um, excellent. And I'm going to join Winnie in the room with the child and eventually make my way to Gertrude if you want to go that way. So. All right, brilliant. Um, so Max walks into the room with the doctor and the doctor says, Oh, thank God, a person. Why, why, why are you all here? We're here investigating some circumstances that have happened and we're just trying to get information. What is, what is wrong with you? You appear to be crying. I'm... Well, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's just, oh, this day, this day, it's been days. It's just been so, so busy, so busy. Um, Sorry, what is it that I can help you with? We would just like to ask you a few questions, but first I would like to have you stay here and gather my cohorts in case they have any additional questions or information that, you know, we all may be able to help each other out with. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Uh, if you've got other people, go, go get them. And can you, can you take this, this? Can you take whatever this is with you? Uh, no, no. Gertrude's gonna stay here just to make sure that you stay here. Gertrude, not at this. Uh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so can uh... Gertrude at that? <laughs> can yes. can Mister Med uh, Medman enter the room now and go? Ah, oh, doctor, just the man I want to see. Do we all need to have a big comedic entrance, or can we just assume that everyone's being brought here by uh, sounds of sobbing? I was just, go, I was just gonna <laughs> go out into the that hallway. That sounds like a great idea, Lenny. That sounds like a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> we 
when it kicks down the door. <laughs> Aha, the doctor. See, we've all had a dramatic entrance. <laughs> all right. All right, so everybody's now in the doctor's room. And the doctor says, well, hello, hello. Sorry, sorry, sorry about the mess of this place. Hello. Um, why are you here? To find out about the cases of amnesia happening recently. Oh, thank God somebody's actually said something. I can answer questions about that. Of course I can. <laughs> I am the doctor that, of our group. Is that Kath or the doctor <laughs> speaking? <laughs> All right, so, yeah. Um, it's been happening for days, for days. We've been treating injury after injury. For some reason, people can't remember what they've done. Just doesn't make sense, doesn't make sense. I've been going over the data, the data. And uh, he, he starts to hold back sobs again as he's saying this. So, um, so, okay. so sorry. What? Sorry. What would you like to know? Uh, well, we um, we have done an investigation of this terrible illness. We have checked the water, and the water is clean. Can I see your um, your notes? Maybe I can help you with the data. Yes. Yes. Water. Water. Yeah. That was the first thing we ruled out. Um, yeah. If you if you came to talk to me, you wouldn't have had to go check the water. Yeah, I would. I would have told you that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> of course, that was the first thing we checked. It wasn't the food either. It wasn't the food. We tre- checked all the food. We checked all the food. It's definitely not the food. Okay. Does it seem like a regular infection then, passing from person to person? Did they have interactions with other people who succumbed to it before? The doctor just sort of sobs a little bit again. It's, uh, sorry. Sorry. Why are you here again? Sorry. Can you? Oh, that's not good. <laughs> okay, can I um try to take his clipboard? I want to. I want to. I want to read the data. I wouldn't do that. Remember how people infected quickly yeah. become aggressive. If we have to fight him, that's going to go bad for him and worse for us when we can't figure out what he was. Wait, wait. People infected? Who, who have you? Who have you seen? Who have you talked to? Oh well, the farmer up there was infected. We're pretty sure the quartermaster has it. Joseph. What's Joseph. Ah, uh, Joseph. Joseph was in here. He was my first patient. The, the small child. In your room? Small. In the room down the hall? I, I don't know anything about no small child, but I can... But certainly, uh, the farmer, Joseph, yeah, he was he was in here. He was in here a few times. Um, memory loss, irrational behaviour, just like the others. Um, he, was, he was the first. Um, it was several cases just similar to that sense. Um, all of them led to the same thing. Psychotic breaks. People keep attacking each other. Right. Have you found that they've associated with each other? Well, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, well, obviously, obviously, we checked the water, and uh, obviously, we checked the food. Um, did I say that already? Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 but yeah. He's, I said a, that he's already. amnesiac, I said that yeah, so yeah. it's. So, um, we thought it was viral in nature due to its exponentially increasing rate over the past two weeks. However, 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 um, what did we find out? Ah, uh, was it um. Ah, the signal. The, the the doctor seems to have remembered something. Seems very happy about. It. He's elated. It's a eureka moment. He said, "The signal, the signal, the signal, the signal." And he actually hands over his clipboard to the uh, to the robot. He hands it over. He's saying, "Finally, the data." Yeah, and he just keeps saying, like, "The signal, 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 signal." Okay, then can I read the clipboard and what does it say? Yeah. So. Um, it says it's a it's a little drawing of a box, and it appears to be given the notes that this uh, doctor's taken down that there was a hidden device found within the town's cold fusion power generator, and on that bombshell, the doctor <laughs> is let you know that there was a device given off a signal. We will end this episode, <laughs> and we can pick this up next time. Thank you for listening to this episode of A Pint of Cthulhu. If you want to get in touch, you can find us on X and on Blue Sky at Pint of Cthulhu. Furthermore, if you'd like to help out the podcast, go over to our Ko-Fi page, link in the description. So, mote it be.